All right, so I'm gonna do uh, an upper extremity uh, Venus. Somebody asked me to uh, to do the protocol pretty much. Now, when we do the protocol, we do the superior vena cava, the brachiocephalics, the jugular subclavian, brachial, basilic, and cephalic. Now, with this probe, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get my SVC and the brachiocephalic just because I, I know I'm not. So, but I'm gonna focus on the jugular, subclavian, axillary, and all those, all right? All right, so we'll begin with the jugular. I'm gonna rest back a little bit so I can, so I'm not too tense and then collapsing the vessels. Let's fix those TGCs. All right, so as you can see, my jugular is already collapsed to begin with. So I'm gonna do Valsalva. And that's decent, take that. Then collapse it, so compression view. Right there, there you see my carotid and the jugulars collapse. Let's lower those TGCs a little bit. Take that. Now let's go sagittal. All right, so that's the carotid there, the jugular there. It collapses very easily, so release pressure. And I guess I'm gonna do another Valsalva. That's beautiful there. You see the sternocleidomastoid muscle up front. Take that picture and then color Doppler. Now, since I'm doing a Valsalva, it's gonna have a lot of turbulent flow. Maybe if I turn my head away a little bit. There, that's actually pretty, pretty nice. Still a lot of aliasing. Let me see if I can lower the gain down. If that goes away a little bit. Come laterally maybe. Oh, now we're talking. All right, so I'll, that's nice. That's pretty. All right, so take that. So then we'll go down. You can take the color off. Let me put the TGCs off so I can put the gain up. There we go. All right. See if we can get it into the brachiocephalic. No cigar. All right, so the subclavian, you can get it from on top of the clavicle, or you can get it from under the clavicle near the, on the chest wall. That's where I like to get it. If I have any trouble in the chest wall, or if there's like a, a line there or something, then I'll tr try super clavicularly. But let's relax the arm. All right, so there we go. Now, it's going to be color-coded red because, remember, that blood flow is going towards my heart. So it's going to be going towards the transducer. So it's going to be color-coded red. Now, if I flip it a little bit, try to angle it this way, and then steer the box. All right, so if I angle it this way, maybe. Let's see. Sometimes it's really hard to tilt those vessels, but there you go. See? Boom. Beautiful. Gorgeous. So remember... If you can't get the, on this I can't invert the color, but I can tilt my transistor, but it's hard sometimes. So that's good. Take that. I'm gonna freeze. Now let's go to the axillary. Axillary vein. Now I have a lot of hair in the arm, so sometimes that's a little, a little mission. If there's no hair down there, it usually makes it a little better. Sometimes, the patient will have a lot of uh, deodorant and creams that kind of like become a paste with the gel. That's also, that can also make it a little difficult. So a good view right there. A little bit more proximal. All right, take that picture right there. Boom. Now if you want, you can put color doppler there too. The artery is a deeper one. Okay, rewind a little bit, take that, ah, took the wrong one. Take that. 
So now let's go Sagittal. Just a vein there. It's kind of deep, so I gotta raise the gain. Which is gonna cause a little bit of aliasing. But you get the picture. Find a nice spot where it's not too crazy. That's about decent right there. Then we can go into the brachial vein. Now for the brachial vein, you can either come anterior in the bicep or in the medial bicep. I like to come about right here in the medial bicep. And that's the veins right there. Let me get a little closer. So these are paired veins. So you have the brachial vein. These are paired veins to the artery. So you have the brachial artery in the middle and the two veins. So I'll take that, put color Doppler. There you can see the brachial artery and the veins. To one of the veins right there and the other one right there. Okay, so rewind that. That's perfect. There you see the one brachial artery and the two brachial veins. Take that picture and then and then collapse. Take that. And then now, I don't know if I said this earlier in the video, but this doesn't have pulse wave or spectral Doppler. So this is just to show you the protocol. Obviously, with the protocol, after each color Doppler, you got to you got to also do the, the pulse wave Doppler. So I'll take that. That's nice. Nice clean vessel. Let's put the color Doppler. Beautiful. Okay, rewind that. Oh, actually, it froze perfectly. All right, then you want to go more medial to get the basilic. They're usually pretty close. Sorry, so you got your brachial veins and are already there, and then the basilic is going to be bigger. Now, the basilic is important because this is the vein that they always go and to use for a pick line. Usually, it's the most commonly used for the pick line. So take that picture there. If you want, put color on it. Now they're making us take color pictures, dual pictures for compression and with color, which is kind of like, I mean, you can see it compressed without the color, but whatever. Nice, fills up the color very nice. And you can see why they use it for the pig line. It's a pretty big vessel. Now, when they can't use a basilic, sometimes they use a cephalic, but those almost always clot. Nice. I already took a picture, but I'll take another one because it's nice. Like Bob Ross over here, painting little happy little trees. All right, sagittal, take that picture, unfreeze, put the color Doppler. Look at that, that's gorgeous. Freeze. Beautiful. Take that. That's just nice. This is so cool. Unbelievable. All right, so lastly, we'll do the cephalic vein. Now, some places you have to do the radio and ulnar vein. I guess I'll do it for you guys, but we don't do it. It's not, you know, those veins are so small and they're, they're a mission, but uh, I'll do it. We don't normally do it where I work, but some places do. All right, so cephalic vein, very tough on some people. If the person's very muscular, it might not be, but on some people it's very tough. Any pressure collapses it, and it's right there. So let's put the gain up so you can see it a little better. And you can see it right there. Now, and look at it. I'm not even pressing harder. Look, it's already collapsed. So keep that in mind. Sometimes you'll be looking up and down the bicep, and you're like, oh, I can't find it. I can't see it. And it's just because you're adding too much pressure. So I usually put a ton of gel to give me a nice little cushion of gel. And then right there. Boom, look at that. Freeze, rewind a little bit, take that. Gorgeous, if you want you can 
If you want, you can do a uh, decrease the depth so you can see it better. We see it pretty clear though. All right, right there. Awesome. Take that. If you want, put color doppler in transverse. Now, sometimes getting flow on these little vessels is so, it's hard, it's annoying. Like right now, I'm trying to like relax my arms to see if I can get flow in there. Maybe do a, you know, pump my fist to do like an augmentation, but. So it's time to raise the gain. See if I relax. Come on, man. I know you got flow in there. Don't play with me. Oh, it was a little bit there. I'm getting a lot of artifacts. So anybody who does these knows that this is sometimes a mission. And sometimes you can't find it. Sometimes people have had lines there or whatever, or they've had anti-cubital vein lines that, that get thrombosed, and the thrombosis goes up the, the cephalic, causing the cephalic to scar up, maybe thrombophlebitis. Ah, look at that, beautiful. Yay! Got it. Got you, sucker. And then sagittal. Same thing. Here, you're going to have to do the TGCs as well. But actually, that's pretty cool. Let me put the TGCs back on. That's the only thing that's a little bit annoying about this is that if you want to use the TGCs, which I have to use the TGCs for everything, you have to put it back on and off. But that's nice. Look at that. Look at the bicep right under. You see the muscle fibers. Awesome. Ah, oh, crap. I took a picture. Freeze, take that, and then let's try to get some colored upper in there. You relax. Come on, baby. Oh, there we go. It's good enough for me. Good enough for me. I always want to get the perfect pictures. Sometimes you can't, but I try, try, try. All right, so that's that. Let's try to do the the radial and ulnar. So radial would be on the thumb side, and ulnar would be over here. Let's put some more gel. Let's take the color off. So that's your radial artery right there. Same thing as a as a as a brachial is gonna have. One artery and two veins. Right there, you see a pretty clear actually. So sometimes you gotta try it a little bit, you know, more proximal where there's more meat. Because if you get real close to the, the wrist, it gets very superficial. You can see it there too, but you know, I can see it there. But you can see a little clearer right here. So I'll take that. Now, I've never seen a thrombus here, but anything's possible. Actually, it's not true. I did see one once because they had a, an IV in the, on the, on the dorsum of the hand. So actually, yeah, any vein can clot. It's always good to do, uh, they're doing a lot of uh, procedures through the radio artery now. So, you know, radio pseudo, pseudo aneurysms are a possibility with those, but that's in the artery. We're doing venous right now. All right. And these two, these vessels are real, it's just like the cephalic. It's a pain to get the flow in them. You know, I know there's no blood clot in there. I know in the machine you can. There's a lot of parameters you can. You know, you can change. You can reduce the wall filter. You can change the scale, up and down. Change the megahertz of the transducer. Use uh, the hockey stick if you have to. Oh, there you go. Sometimes you, when you press down and you release, that kind of does like a local augmentation. And that's good enough for me. Ah, come on. Trying to freeze in the right spot. Right, ugh. right there. That's decent. That is decent, all right. So now let's go sagittal. Sagittal. The arteries are always easy to find because arteries have higher pressure. They don't really collapse. The veins, especially, especially the superficial ones, are all flimsy and collapse like nothing. All right, so that's the artery right there. And then that's the vein. 
So let's take a gray skill. Actually, see if we can TGC. So we can TGC some of that away. Good. Take that. Boom. And then color. Let's make that box a little smaller. There we go. Breathing, breathing helps. Increasing and increasing and decreasing the intrathoracic pressure helps. And that's it. All those vessels, you know, the ulnar is going to be the same. The ulnar is going to be two vessels, one artery, same deal. It's going to be a mission to get good flow. But yeah, those are all the vessels you scan. Uh, with the sector probe, which GE also has, I'm pretty sure you can get a good um, a good view of the SVC and the brachiocephalics. But this one has a curved and the linear, which the curve to get the biggest effect. I mean, I won't be able to get it. If I was like a pediatric patient, I'm sure I can get it. But that's pretty much it. Do all those vessels and you'll be good. All right. Stay tuned for more. I am doing a scrotal one as well. I'm going to do a, a an appendix um, protocol, how I do how I do the protocol and find it and like any tips and tricks along the way. Uh, and much more things until they take this thing away from me. Right. Because it's a it's a loader. I, I didn't buy it yet. All right, so take care. Bye.